This is going to be your reading from today, October 23rd to October 31st. I'm Sammy. Thanks for tuning into this. I was just asking about you, meditating on you. And firstly, I heard bear, bear, not like the animal, like bear, you're bearing something, like bear down. And then I heard boulder, a lot of bees. So you may be feeling weighed down or you may need to prepare yourself bear down or bear you maybe you're in the middle of something here and you're needing to uh, it's like if you're using all your strength on something but you're not going to be done for two weeks you have to I can't think of the word you have to use it sparingly bear you're bearing the load of something okay you may be in the middle of something and it feels like you're just ready to give up the pressure may be heavy as a boulder I don't know what that means, but I also heard soften. And this may not resonate for all of you. One of these words may resonate for you, not the other. Uh, none of them may resonate for you, but let's get into the reading and see. This is general reading, so the cards may not tell your story. They may tell the story of someone else you know. If it's not for you, please tune in next week and see. Perhaps that reading will work for you. It's impossible to gauge the whole collective in one reading, so that's why. Okay, Soften though, Aquarius, you need to soften. Soften your heart towards someone, soften your words, soften, you just need to soften up a bit, I think. Maybe you're perceived in a certain way, maybe this intensity you're going through has hardened you a bit. Aquarius are already a little bit emotionally detached. So that may be exaggerated at this time. Just keep in mind that others may see you kind of hardened right now. Okay, just soften up a bit, please. Don't be so tough all the time. Don't let what you're going through internally affect how you treat people or how you feel towards people. That was a big one. Soften to how you feel or see other people, okay? I know there's so much going on now in the collective and so much chaos and conflict between among uh, different groups of people and parties and things. So be careful how you see others. Don't be quick to judge and, and soften your heart towards others. That's what I feel it means. Okay, let's get some cards for Aquarius. Aquarius! <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Let's get a reading going here. Give us clarity, peace, action to take, outcome, current energies for Aquarius. Aquarius. Okay, hold on. They're saying start with these. I don't know why. So let's go with this animal spirit deck and then we'll get into the tarot. I don't know why. I'm just going to do that. Work on that for a sec and we'll see. Okay, let's get an animal spirit energy card for Aquarius. Animal spirit for Aquarius. Reclaim your power. 44. And White Raven Spirit, 66, trust in the magic. Reclaim your power and trust in the magic. Hmm. 44 and 66. Thank you, Spirit. Let's try this again. Shuffle, they said shuffle. Okay. Panther spirit, white raven spirit. If that means anything to you, raven, birds, panthers. 
pretty legit. Hidden wisdom, hidden knowledge, reclaim your power. Well, that's you, right? Aquarius is the water bearer, the knowledge bringer. Reclaim your power, and we're moving into um, Saturn and Jupiter and Aquarius here in December. So this is going to be a big time for us, the whole world. Okay, Nine of Pentacles popped out. So I think it was Leo that just got this. This is a hard work. Um, that takes a long time. It's steady. Steady work. And it's for long-term gains. And it's stable. So you've been putting in an effort here, working hard towards something. And it's been kind of slow. Okay, or you've been doing this for a long time. We have two of wands. This is fire. This is like something in the planning stages. You're planning on something. It's like he has two options here. You may feel like you have more than one option. But see, he has the world in his hands. Making plans for, for something new. Working towards something. Perhaps you've been planning this for a while. What more for Aquarius Spirit? Okay. Sad's just got this too. Investing. So this is investing in whatever this plan was and this hard work. You may feel as though you've been putting in effort and not seeing the rewards yet. The harvest isn't quite ready yet, but look at all that you're building. This can be in the spiritual realm you're building and you haven't seen it come to you yet. It can be manifesting something, but you are planning something. You may be planning to travel, to go somewhere. And so this visualizing or plan helps to manifest. So if you've been putting an effort for something and you're waiting, You're, you're building up an investment here. Or you may be thinking about investing some money. You may be planning on investing like your retirement or something. Okay, hangman. Yeah, you may be confused about this. You've taken a pause on something or you're hesitating or you're needing to see this in a new perspective and or you're starting to already see this in a different way. Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning, new uh, stable endeavor or new job. You may be thinking of taking a new job and now you're in the hangman position because you're eh, not quite sure about it. Maybe, maybe this new job isn't what you planned for. It doesn't have to be a job, but maybe something wasn't going to plan and now it's changed and you just want to be this. Nine of Pentacles is, can be a single person, self-sufficient, loves luxury, just wants to be happy, just wants to have everything they need and feel fulfilled and abundant and luxurious. And on your own, a sense of self, like, I did this. I built this. I invested in this. I started this new idea. So, what we see here is the, s the slow and steady hard work and dedication to something, discipline. And the plan is in place and you're working hard and you're efforting and, and building and investing still. But something happens and you change your perspective. And a new idea comes in. A new money-making idea or a new opportunity. It could be a new investment that comes along. But this brings you 
way more stability and security within yourself. It doesn't have to be just money, but it seems like you're focused on money right now. It doesn't have to be. It can be stability in a relationship. It can be that you're loving yourself. It can be working on yourself. But it seems like money to me. Or travel. Maybe you're wanting to do more travel, so you feel you have to invest more at work to get more money to travel. But the new perspective comes in and something changes and there's like a new money idea that comes in and then now like you have it. You have everything you need now. Maybe you can do both. Maybe you can still work hard steadily at this other thing you do and then this new job can be like a side gig. You know what I'm saying? And then you, now you got all this extra abundance and you have the world. The world. Card number 21. The world brings good things. So we have two. Look, see, like the world is in his hands. He's planning. And then he gets the world. So I see you uh, manifesting something here, Aquarius. We have a King of Cups. This can be a water sign. Doesn't have to be. So uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be a man. It can be a woman. Or this can be who you're embodying. But this is emotion. Emotional stability, control of emotions. So be careful with this now because we're entering Scorpio now and that is your direct opposite. I think, no, Tor Taurus. I think Taurus is the direct opposite. There's something about Aquarius and Scorpio. They like ma they're like magnets to each other. Okay, and you are opposites. But do you like like each other for some reason? Okay, so this can be your partner. It can be someone you're investing with, or this can be you, but whoever it is, they bring emotional fulfillment and emotional security and abundance and stability and make you feel good about yourself and you love this person. So if this is not you, and I don't think it's you, Aquarius usually isn't that. I mean, you're in control of your emotions, I think, but when I see this card, it just seems emotional. And I don't see Aquarius like that. So, but then we have this uh, Seven of Swords here that popped out with him. So, you may be seeing this King of Cups in a new light. And or you may be thinking that they're hiding something. Or you may be curious as to what they're doing. If they're hiding something. If they're doing something behind your back. This is the card of the sneak, the liar, the cheat, and I'm not saying this person is. Okay, it pops out with them. So that can be their energy. Or this is how you feel about them. Because the King of Cups, I don't think would do that. So I think you have this idea about King of Cups. But you have the world here. So I think you're emotionally... Maybe feeling lack here. And that's where I think that's the soften, right? Soften yourself to this King of Cups. This doesn't have to be a person. It can be a new idea or something that brings you more emotional fulfillment. But whatever it is, there's like a mistrust here or a doubt. So we need to look deeper at this. Clarify Seven of Swords with King of Cups, please. What is this Seven of Swords? What is this Seven of Swords? What is this Seven of Swords? Hmm. Some of you may be suspicious. And you know what? Scorpio season? I wouldn't doubt it. Especially we have a Mercury retrograde in Scorpio right now. Heavy in the mind. Heavy thinking, going deeper, looking deeper at things. And Scorpio can be very suspicious. They love to research and they love deep, intense, <laughs> like questioning the deep analytical 
workings of everything. So I would not be surprised if that slips in here and there for everyone. A lot of readings have been coming up with this Seven of Swords. It's like a mistrust. We're just not trusting something. We're suspicious of someone. You should already have a pretty good intuition, Aquarius, but I would look further into it. This is a marriage card, the Hierophant, or it can just be conformity, tradition, um, church, um, control groups. You may be wanting to break free of tradition. This is a happy family card and the Six of Cups is past nostalgia, childhood, um, someone coming back from your past, or a gift. You may, I mean this is clarifying this, so I don't think you have anything to worry about with this King of Cups. Take it how it resonates, okay? If this is a career or something else, take it like that, but I feel like this is a person. This may be your husband or wife. You may already be married. Or you may want to get married. But you're not trusting this connection. This man is stable. Or woman. But King of Cups, he's stable and secure. He's in control of his emotions. And that is sexy, right? So, you may not understand what he's feeling all the time. He may not show it, but he's very loving. He's just very regal. And he's loving and, and caring and warm and abundant, but he doesn't like get angry. He's not immature. He's grown man status. And this can be for a woman too. It doesn't matter gender. So we have this Hierophant. I'm thinking this is a marriage here. You may be wanting to get married. You may be thinking about someone from your past. Or being nostalgic thinking about your past maybe thinking about a marriage thinking as if you were very happy and you weren't or you may be moving towards a marriage with this king of cups with a water sign it doesn't have to be they just exude this energy of stability and love so what is this if this resonates with you, please leave a comment because I really want to know what this is about. You have the world. You have the happy family card. So whatever this mistrust is, or you're not trusting this, you need to trust it. Because it ends, I think, with marriage from someone from your past, and it's a happy family life. Or if you're questioning your husband or feeling suspicious, I think everything's just fine. Okay? If you need to get back to the past, Feel some nostalgia. Think about how things were when you first got together. <laughs> and then this happy family card can come back around. Because you've got the world. If you're thinking about becoming single, if you're ready to leave somebody a king of cups because of your suspicions, don't do it unless there's proof, okay? Especially if you really love this person. Because this king of cups is stable. And I feel bad for this king of cups. And I think you'll have this um, energy of stability and security within yourself anyways. That's just for a couple people. It's not going to be for everybody, okay? Oh, I feel like this is long. Am I running long? Uh-oh. See only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings. See only the love within each person. Didn't I tell you to soften, Aquarius? Didn't I just say that? Whatever this feeling, maybe you're hard. Maybe you're hardened to this King of Cups. The King of Cups could be anyone. It could be a collective of people. It could just be that, I don't know. You're looking at someone like they're shady or you don't trust them. See only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. That's beautiful. See only love, Aquarius. 
soften your heart. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please like, please share if you know an Aquarius. Please subscribe. Thank you, I'll see you next week.